Dr. Kent Brantley now in an isolation unit here at Emory University Hospital. At last check, he was said to be in grave condition. However, he was ample enough to walk in here with some assistance. Outfitted in a protective suit, Dr. Kent Brantley stepped gingerly out of an ambulance toward what will be his home for the next two to three weeks at least. A specially prepared isolation room as some of the best infectious disease doctors in the world try to save his life. It's a 24-7 staffed unit. We have ICU nurses that will be in uh, that unit um, all the time and we'll have a physician, at least one physician colleague with them. Um, these are experts in infectious diseases, and we've also had assistance from our critical care colleagues. It was this chartered business jet outfitted with an isolation pod that touched down at Dobbins Air Reserve Base at 1130 this morning after transporting Brantley from Liberia. He was part of a humanitarian mission with Samaritan's Purse, tending to the hundreds who have contracted Ebola until he himself came down with the virus. Once the jet landed, it was a standard ambulance, likely also turned into an isolation pod of sorts, that made its way through Atlanta traffic. No police escort, just a caravan of unmarked vehicles, stopping at lights and intersections like any other cars on the road. And then the final turn into Emory University Hospital. Uh, the driver is wearing a special suit, uh, has gloves, uh, was wearing a mask. Keep in mind, Dr. Brantley is the first of two Americans being brought here for treatment. We expect to see this same slow, calculated transport again in just days. We are not expecting any immediate updates about Dr. Brantley's condition, in part because his family has asked that they keep his condition private.